Hi everyone, I uh, thought I'd do a follow up video on my uh, recent DRT19 video because uh, I've made a few uh, extra modifications to it to uh, get it to where I wanted it to be. So um, yeah, just thought um, I'd do a quick additional video just to go over uh, the things that I've uh, changed and added. So um, the first thing I've added if you can see under the uh, under the barrel shroud there there's a little spring clip um, there's one here and there's one at the um, at the front bipod mount as well and what they do on the original gun is when the when the bipod mount or the anti-aircraft mount is slid into place those click down and they just lock it in place um, they weren't on here so I fabricated them and, and put them on. Um, next edition, uh, the T track has all been replaced with with rubber T track. So you can see that's moving. Um, it's rubber T track as would have been on the originals. Um, now, in order to do that, uh, I had to strip off the original hard plastic T track that was on here. Um, that meant stripping the barrel shroud back to bare metal and repainting it um, which was a bit of a pain but I think ultimately it's been worth doing um, the t-track as you can see is held in place with um, 30 amp fuse wire I started off with 15 amp fuse wire but I thought it looked too thin and that's just wrapped around the barrel uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see or not here but um, just in here, it's uh, it's just twisted together on the bottom. Um, so yeah, um, the T track initially I, I held in place with um, some double sided tape just to keep it in place while I I put the um, the fuse wire around because it's quite tricky to do that. Um, other additions. Um, the um, box which goes over the, the feed tray now originally there, there is a resin cast one underneath here um, but that isn't quite the correct shape for the um, original DLT 19s now I've been told by Christian at Proco Print um, that the reason it's that shape is because he also does uh, a DLT 19X which has mounts for scopes and power cells and all sorts of things and the shape of the box is to do with accommodating that um, which is fine but then for an episode 4 DLT it doesn't look quite right it's not far off by any means but it's not quite right and you're beginning to know me in detail now I guess folks so I went ahead and, and made up a, a metal box now these are originally are just made of two pieces of sheet metal I've used um, aluminium sheet here and it's two pieces the first piece is is this piece which goes across the top the front and the bottom and then the end pieces are folded and go underneath the front piece and down the other side um, so it's, it's just a simple two-piece construction it just fits in over the feed tray um, to get the proportions right on this I did just have to cut a little bit off of the resin feed tray at the bottom and I had to cut a slot underneath the, the top cover um, just to be able to push it in now I believe on the originals these these just pressure fitted over the feed lips over the over the um the, the trommel clips the, the, the clips for the magazine drum um they just pressure fitted over that this one's pressure fitted too um it does come off if you want it to i'm not going to take it off because it's a pain to get back on um it was then just spray painted matte black and weathered by um just 
uh, scraping at the, at the paint with uh, plastic card um, just chipping it with various items, screwdriver ends, that sort of thing, just to, to get the look that you see on the pictures of the originals. The last edition, and the hardest bit I found to find actually, was uh, this greebly here, this little round greebly. Um, this one um, is from a page on Facebook called Sandy Comms. Now, I'll, I'll put a link at the bottom of the video. Um, to the places that I got the tea track and um, the greeblies. Um, going back to the, the feed tray for a moment, that I made out of sheet aluminium. I started off using 0.8 millimeter thick sheet aluminium. I thought that was going to be thin enough, but actually the radius on the curves you couldn't get sharp enough. So I, I got another set of uh, 0.4 millimeter sheet aluminium and it's actually made out of that and the radius on the, the curves at the ends and things now looks much better um, so yeah back to this greebly you'll find various ideas on the internet about what that greebly was i'm not going to go into here which is the right or wrong ones i went with one as i say from sandy comms uh, on facebook um, i think it looks it looks right to what i see in the pictures um, yeah, and again, spray painted with black paint and weathered in the same way. Um, I've tried to get the weathering on both those parts to look vaguely like the, the pictures that you can find of an original um, A New Hope DLT-19. Um, but to be honest, the only pictures you can get of a DLT-19 from A New Hope are really either screen grabs which are okay but they tend not to show too much detail um, because they're either caught in the blur of motion or they're not focusing on these guns they're focusing on the actors um, there is a set of pictures of, of what is supposed to be a screen used DLT 19 um, they have a, like a yellowy background um, if you see them but Again, they're very, very grainy, and it's very difficult to pick out the detail. You, you can't, for example, see the wire and where it goes on them. Um, so, anyway, before I'm in danger of waffling on too much about all the things I love, little details, um, yeah, that's uh, what I've done to bring this up to where I think now it's, it's probably finished. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll try and do another video of another project soon. Thank you.